Carl. Tom. So we start. I say your name, you say my name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here he is, boys. Where are <laughs> we, mate? Right? We are in Marcos, in sunny, sunny, never sunny Swansea. Yeah, to get up this morning and get myself to sunny, sunny Swansea. Yeah, welcome to my world. It's great. It's really great. What episode number is this? Uh, five. Episode five. 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 Good Lord. <laughs> Someone call the episode police. We're on episode five. What are, you, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a Mr. Pink t-shirt. Explain it. Uh, well, you opened your bag and you were like, put this on, bitch. <laughs> that is exactly... <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> fully fled. What happened? Pretty much what I did. Um, lovely people at Vinyl Instinct have Vinyl been listening Instinct. to the show. Yeah. And they have made his t-shirts themed around... What's your say, mate? Captain Tom, is that because you wear that uh, little Johnny My little Depp Johnny Depp earring, earring yeah. So yeah. I've got a Johnny Depp themed turkey. Oh. You have a pink hoodie, which you are Mr. more pink, famous for. Yeah, so it's everyone Mr. wants the pink hoodie. What is it about the pink hoodie? No one likes it. But I don't, I don't like it. Everyone loves yeah, the pink hoodie. Do they? Write in the comments. Do they? Start the episode. Do Let's they? go. Roll the titles. It took me about a month to work out that you'd got awkward turkey in yeah yeah at the awkward end of that turkey. really good really, you're really welcome good. <laughs> you're so welcome. it's november november first week of november Can i you believe it already and we are at marco pierre white yeah marco's in swansea. swansea and this is this is marco's it's his house we're in marco's house in swansea <laughs> <laughs> he just lives in a, in a he lives in a restaurant does he just cooks all day fantastic <laughs> pretty sure he doesn't but no? <laughs> Of course not. Well, I mean, in my mind, he does. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever been here. It's lovely. Do we have to shout him out? Yes, 100%. Shout yes. him out. Go on then. Done. Oh, brilliant. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks Marco Mark. Swansea, thank you so much for having us. Um, we were in Marco's private room. That is for realsies. Yeah. This and is his uh, private Look at all the wine. I know. Looks like my house. What, is it made of glass? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's filled with wine, I meant. But <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> and it's got chandeliers everywhere. Of course, of course. Um, what we need to do, we need to do a couple of things, because um, yes. it's been a month. It's been a month. I want to talk about a couple of things. Yes. Number one, Yes. we peaked in the charts, the podcast charts. We did. Number 32. Number 32. It's too early in the show to do yeah. a mic drop. But if we could, if they, we if would. If that was the end, I'd have Say been... it at the end, mate. Yeah, okay. I, could, I could have dropped it. End, yeah. We can't really drop it on it's this either, because this is, now, yeah. this is a wooden floor. Anymore, is yeah. It's a wooden floor. <laughs> Dodge. Pick to 32. We've had some wicked reviews. Had some lovely some reviews. Some fantastic reviews. I've got to mention that we have a sponsor for our first episode. You're joking. No, we've got a sponsor, mate. Drop the mic. Someone call the sponsor, please. We've got a sponsor. We've got a sponsor for yep. episode one of November. Episode five in total. Um, our sponsor yep. this week is H. D events. Is that like is that like a normal events company? That's no. standard standard definition. <laughs> it is funny you ask that. <laughs> is it? Yes. Let me read you a little bit about HD events. Please do. Hang on then. <laughs> <coughs> I should have prepared this a little bit better. I'd, I'd be able to back Cut and forth that. with you if my fing <laughs> internet worked. Oh gosh, well. Okay, HD events. What is HD events, I hear you ask? What is it? Well, their team handpicked the most talented acts from across the nation to assure your event is seamlessly spectacular. Wow. Yes, you can choose from hundreds of world-class bands, acoustic musicians, wedding singers, and live entertainment, or you can go to their Find Me an Act, and they'll do the searching for Find you. Find Me an Act, wow. Holy crapoli. And like any other... I'm finished. And unlike any other agency, HD events... Provide fully bespoke live entertainment. You are always in safe... God, it goes on a bit, doesn't it? It does a bit, I yeah. wrote it. Did you? Yeah. You're always in safe hands with no hidden fees and guaranteed emergency cover. That is actually... In today's climate, that's brilliant. pretty good. Yeah. You need the emergency cover. Um, so go to the link on the screen right now, which Tom is going to put in there. Uh, or in the link in the bio, brilliant. you can find out about HD yeah, events. of course. So we want to thank HD events. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank Don't you. Don't thank me, thank mate. You. I no, wrote was, a very was, long that was speech brilliant about them. In all fairness, they gave me this tiny little thing to read. Just, oh, just to read that just out. Just add a bit. But yeah, I just, just I ad-libbed. Just well, I didn't ad-lib, I read it, but you know just, what I mean. Just bulk it out a little bit, yeah. Lock. So thank you, HD Events. 
uh, that's for really, sponsoring episode five. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's very much appreciated. We're doing the podcast five from Marco Pierre's and Swansea. Swansea. And, and we've got uh, a sponsor. We've got a sponsor. Can't believe him. And we've we got really, really nice t-shirts. Oh, yeah. So Lovely we're t-shirts quite, as well. We're quite lucky boys. And we peaked at number 32. You know what they say? What? It's downhill from here. It's downhill from here. Now, I thought what would be a really, mean? really good thing to talk about today. What's that? As I'm in Wales, as you yeah. are Welsh. Do you, like, uh, do you like it in Wales or what? Uh, I like yeah. it. I've spent a lot of time in Wales. One of my favourite theatre shows I ever did. Yeah. Here. Swansea, Swansea Grand. Swansea Grand. Swansea Grand is a hell of a venue. Something about that theatre that's just really special. It's like, it's like yeah. an old school venue. It's an old school theatre, but it's, yeah, it's, I mean, gosh, I, I bet it hasn't been open now since January. On paper, yeah. probably one of the worst shows ever. Oh, really? Why? On paper. Why? So we're working for a, a production company that sent us to Swansea. We went in a little, a little van with all the cast. A little touring van? A little tour van. And uh, we got there. And it's, it's essentially, it's and two hours. It's just me in this show. There's no other people. We've got some okay. dancers, dancers and band and stuff like that. Yeah. And 20 minutes in, the piano breaks. Brilliant. Keyboard. So d- the power supply doesn't oh, work. They okay. haven't got a spare. And there's an l- acoustic section of the show, which is like 30 minutes in length. That all goes to sh- <laughs> Then show finishes. There's only 145 people in there. Do you know how big Swansea Grand Theatre is? 1,200? 1,200 people, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 145 people. And they're really (laughs) spread out. (laughs) Socially distanced. No, this is (laughs) (laughs) the way before they needed to be. They're really spread out. So we finished in Swansea Grand. We got in the van. Van breaks down. (laughs) Welcome to Wales. Spent the whole night in the car park. Wow. Whole night in the car park. But I remember it now with really, really fond memories. That's my memory of Swansea Grand. (laughs) Um, But I think... <laughs> think Today's going to be better. It is, I hope so. But I yeah. think because I'm in Wales, because I'm English, because you're Welsh and you were yeah. in England before, I think what we should do is we should talk about all the great things that Wales has, all the great things that England has. Yeah, England versus Wales. England versus Wales. Yeah, get ready for a fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gonna smash really it across sure. your face now. I what? think the most, the most important thing to start with on that is, um, sorry to anybody who's not a fan, uh, but football. 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 I do love football. I'm a big football fan. I'm not. I'm not. I know you're not. Because when England played Wales last week. Which would be last which month. Which was just a... Oh, it wasn't last week. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Cut that! Um, it's not live. <laughs> yeah, as someone pointed out, because I wore the same pair of socks. For four episodes. For four episodes. They were like, you don't change. <laughs> like, it no, was I the change. same day. Yeah. Um... So you you messaged me uh, uh, three weeks ago uh, <laughs> uh, about England versus Wales, yeah. And you said, uh, you said who won in the football, Carl? Now obviously Wales had lost. It was a friendly three nil, by the way. Okay, still it was a friendly, and we had half a squad out. Some of them were still in Italy. Well, one of them was still in Italy. Um, and you were like, and you've got Gareth Bale. You lost, and you've got Gareth Bale, which I thought was a really good thing, because I don't have yeah. any football knowledge. You were like, man, tell me someone who plays for the football team, who kicks a ball for a living. I think Gareth Bale is Welsh. You were yeah. like, and you've got Ryan Giggs and Dennis Irwin. He's not Welsh. Here's an interesting fact to you about football. I know nothing about football at all, yes. except for if it took place within 1995 to 1996. Okay, go on. Because why? I was at school yeah. and I was collecting the... Um, Sixth form. The sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not old. <laughs> go on. I was at primary school and I was collecting the, collecting the stickers for the... You know, you get the football stickers. I do know, yeah. Those. Panini. So I was collecting these football stickers. The only reason I know anything about them is because for that one year... I was obsessed with completing this sticker album. So I know ridiculously useless facts. About I know one year of Shaka football. Hislop was in goal <laughs> for Newcastle United. Oh I know his back four had Warren Barton in it. Give, I know me, the, that give me the defence for Manchester United that year. At that particular time, it was Stevie Bruce off Dennis Irwin <laughs> and potentially Nicky Butt. I know it all is Nicky the problem. Was it? Well, he was attacking. He was de- defensive wow, midfield. Wow, mate. Defensive midfield. Fair play. Mark Crossley in goal for Nottingham Forest. <laughs> Great keeper. Great keeper. Great image. <laughs> but I yeah, love that. unfortunately, wow. that's all I've got. That's my uh, that's my only knowledge of um, a football. football. Nineteen ninety five to nineteen ninety six. But I think if we're doing England versus Wales, mm-hmm. 
I think England has to win on the football side of it. Maybe I think you have to concede that. Rugby. Give us a give us a give us a bit of time. I say maybe uh, probably so far. Yeah, England win. I think on but, that. But um, who wins on music? Oh, I don't know because you have Oasis and the Beatles. Stone Roses, Beatles, and we have. Tom Jones, Shirley Ca- Bass, and Catatonia, Catatonia and Stereophonics. <laughs> yeah, but that's st- it's still it's still pretty it's a, good. It's strong. Wales, I think, on vocal talent, we <laughs> fucking slam you. <laughs> but <laughs> there we are. That's just my opinion. What about okay? I, I think music's it's it's objective anyway. It's, yeah. it's what you like. Alcohol. Now I feel like at this point, what I need to say to everybody is obviously, since we've peaked. Uh, number 32 in the charts, and we've got a couple of sponsors. I don't want you to think that it's gone to our heads. We, w- what have you got there? It's gone to my head, mate. Is that? We have, <laughs> bringing, <laughs> bringing the big guns out early, cherry drop, drop, cherry drop gin. I haven't drunk any yet, and I'm already slurring. <laughs> cherry drop gin, gin liqueur. Wow. From my friends over at the Signet Gin Distillery in Swansea. And this is this is not actually available to buy yet. This we've got, we've no, got the first and, bottle. And Dai, who makes it, <clears throat> did say to me, "This probably won't be the bottle they'll use. This is like a tester kind okay. of thing." So we get <laughs> faced or <what>? let's get <laughs> faced. <laughs> and then drive home. I just want no, I, don't I, do that. I just want everybody to know that we, um, as at the Orca Turkey Podcast, we do. Yeah, we don't take bribes. We no, clearly we f- don't do. We we take lots of bribes. Um, so this cherry drop gin, it does look amazing. And they make it over in Signet Distillery. Signetdistillery.co.uk. So that's made check it out. in Wales. It's made in Swansea. Brand, brand new. It's coming out at the end of the month. I think you've got us on booze. Yeah. I think you right. definitely have. We have in the colour. When Red I was... for Wales, isn't it? When I was travelling... Uh, I, where was I? I? I texted you a couple of months ago and I was in um, Cardiff and you said... <laughs> well, I didn't shot for him. <laughs> Just leave it there. Be a nice friend. You said... Um, you said I should go to a whiskey place. There's a whiskey oh, place Pindarin. near where I was. Pindarin. I didn't get to go in the end, but... Oh. Um, Pindarin make probably the best whiskey in the world. Wow. Yeah. Fact. Fact check that. And they make the best... Well, no, that's made in, in a different gin. distillery, but... Yeah, but they make the best, best yeah, gin. Yeah, they make the best gin. Pindarin also make gin, so if you want to send me some Pindarin... My mum rang me on the... <laughs> way, my <laughs> my mum rang me Fighting on the... Fighting them against each other. <laughs> I read... <laughs> yes, Carl... My mum rang me in the car on the way down this morning. She goes, you, you, you okay? You excited about doing the podcast? I was like, yeah, I'm really excited about going back and doing the next episode with Carl. She said, um, has anything Give changed? Said, well, we're doing it at Marco Pierre's. And she went, wow, that's, that's really good. Yeah. I, said, I said, you know, we've got a couple of sponsors and, you know, we peaked in the charts. She said, oh, it's great. I said, and, uh, you know, there's a gin company want to get involved with, with the show. And she went, does that mean you'll get, I said, it potentially means that we'll get a couple of bottles of gin. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't see her eyes light up, but I could hear the excitement <laughs> in her voice. <laughs> Angel sang. And she was like, so will you get some today? I was like, I don't know if we'll get some today. She was like, do you think we'll get a case? I was like, I don't a know. Ca- she's, she's jumping the gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She? she wants a case. She wants a case. A case of gin. So if my boy's doing a podcast. Yeah. M- mate. I want some gin. There's, there's wine here. You can take her a bottle there's, along, I'm sure. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at some of the stuff they've got here. That, that's that's a pretty exceptional wine fridge. Yeah, a lot of the same ones at the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> cheap wine. <laughs> we shouldn't say that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Marcos, for having us today. I cut that. Feel free. Cut no, that. don't. Nah, yeah, leave nah. it in. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. It's our podcast. Um. So you've got us on drink. Yeah. We got you on football. Music's kind of divided. Yeah, in, in in between. I think one thing, and I'm fighting your corner. I think one thing that Wales does win on over England. Attitude. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go down the route of saying holiday destination. Oh, okay, yeah. I remember being it's a kid lovely part of and going England. on holiday to Abu Dhabi. Where's that? I don't even know where that is. I'm not sure. We had a little Definitely cottage. Definitely in Wales? Little cottage. It f***ing rained every single day and we yeah. cut the holiday short. But I remember it. That could have been anywhere in the UK, though, in all fairness. <laughs> if it rained all every day. I, I, yeah, Wales is it's gorgeous. Brecon Beacons. I went to a waterfall. Is that, that is that? Well, I texted. There's you. a lot of waterfalls in and the UK. This one was mate. incredible. This wasn't absolutely incredible. All right. It might well maybe in the Brecon Beacons, maybe I don't know. I'm not. Let me admit, I'm not like Wales's big plug. I'm no, not like well, it's England versus Wales, and neither you, know, you nor I, I have done any research on the countries that we bring into <laughs> the table. You know, I don't work for the for the travel company of Wales. 
You might do. I might do. Hey, if you had job. to retrain. <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> seen that? I've seen the post. Yeah, the it's probably one of the most insensitive things I've ever seen. In yeah. fact, the people who are partially responsible for that advertising campaign have already gone, nah. If you wow. haven't seen it, explain Put a what picture it is. up, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll stick a picture up. Is okay. it Fatima? Fatima, <laughs> yeah. I-, I did see a lovely Instagram story where it said, Fatima's in the shit. <laughs> you just covered my shot there with my joke. Um, f- yeah, I saw a great Instagram story, and it said, thanks, dude. It said, Fatima's in the shit. Poor old Fatima. Yeah. It's not, it's not nice, though, is it? For anybody who doesn't understand, it's, it's essentially saying that people within the arts <laughs> can, <laughs> can just go and retrain and find another job. I yeah. don't think the lady in that advert, oh, Fatima, She definitely didn't know that that's what she was taking the picture for. When she took for, that right? picture, she didn't know it was going to be yeah. to say it. So what I think is a great thing, and you suggested it, what a great idea. Yeah. Let's talk about if we had to retrain okay. what we would do. Um. I just want to point out about that picture, though. I did see this great thing, so I can't claim ownership of this idea, but the fact that it took a photographer to take the picture, a makeup artist to sort the makeup, a dancer to be in the picture, it, you know, it, a all of these... Designer a graphic designer to lay out designers, the text, yeah. yeah. And it's like, but you want everybody who's creative, give it up. Go and work in... Go and work online. yeah. I've also seen that when people filled in the form, um, th- you know, you can fill in a form and it suggests a good job for you. I have seen this, yeah. And we're getting like boxer and actor. <laughs> Most musicians either could become a boxer <laughs> or an actor. We could do it in a minute if you wanted to. <laughs> Not fill really. It out and see. I don't want to depress myself. It, uh, here's the thing, though. It's, it's a real conversation to have. And I think... It's horrible. It's an, it, it is. But hypothetically... If this doesn't go away mm-hmm. and you did have to retrain, say, say that music never comes back or yeah. the, the entertainment doesn't come back. I think it will. I hope. It has to. I hope in the pit yeah. of my soul that it does. But if it doesn't, what would you do? Trying to keep it lighthearted. Yeah. Depressing Tom strikes again. Uh, I, I know what I think you should do. Go on. Be a baker. Thank you for the memes, folks. The memes, a few of them, this is visual for YouTube, a few of them will be up on the screen now. If you're listening to this, head over to YouTube and you can see some fabulous memes created by fantastic fans of the Awkward Turkey podcast. Thank you for the memes. Memes. <laughs> Few pointers about that. Memes. And I'm not a f***ing baker. Yes. Seriously, though, what would you, what would you do? You've got, to, you've, got to have a, you've got to have an idea. It's weird because I know we talked about it. Is it too late it. for me to be a footballer? <laughs> Sorry? I said, is it too late for me to be a footballer? You're probably. how old are you now? 35? Uh, no, I'm You're not. You're probably too old to be a footballer. Stop dragging me into your age range, Listen, all right? Listen, we're two blokes in our mid-30s <coughs> having a chat. <laughs> You're so David Brent. <laughs> That's how sad that is. You know, I'm 30. Late 30 to no, I'm in my 30s. In my 30s, <laughs> yeah. Um, what would I do? I don't know. I'm not very good. I, I can't even say that I'd like write books or anything. Because that's part of the arts. I think the thing about it is, most creative people, if they weren't doing the creative thing that they made their money at, they'd end up doing something else that was slightly creative. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, look at us now. We're the not we're is, not gigging, but we're still yeah. we're still creating something that's the number thing is, thirty-two in the charts. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it you know, it's taken ten, fifteen years to become a professional at this gig, mm-hmm. to be able to have songs on TV ads and films, it's taken, it takes years to become a professional and then to have someone just say, I just give it up, no mate. I think if you're 18... You're a f- lunatic. If you're 18, you're at a point where you haven't invested so much time in it and you could potentially suggest a career change to somebody then. But... I still no, think no, it's no, rude. No, no. It is rude. But at 18 or 19, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, of course, yeah. I, yeah, and if I you'd was gigging social said to me, clubs and pubs yeah, and stuff If you'd have said to me at 18, you can't do this, think about something else. Yeah. I would have st- I'd have said the same as I say when I'm 30s. <laughs> <laughs> when, I'm th- <laughs> when I'm 30s. I would say the same. And that is, no, I'm yeah. not, not going to retrain. 100%. I think, it's, I think it's massively insensitive. And also, yeah. joking about my age aside, 
I'm 35. Mm. I don't want at 35 to go, oh, what else can I do? Yeah. I, I think, make I a think podcast. Make a podcast, yeah. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, just... <laughs> Try and get as many sponsors as you can. <laughs> get to the bill. Get too many for the first episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, the thing is, it's not that I'm... Well, I guess I'm not very good at anything else because I, I, this is all I've ever known, dude. This is all I've ever done. I've done some, I've done some other jobs. I've never had a job, by the way. I've really? never had a, a real job. This is a f- real job, but I've oh, yeah. never had a... A government the prob- real job. The problem you've got with it is, and it was a, it was a bit like this with people who I was at school with, or my brother to some extent, who is is like a mechanic. He would say to me, "Oh, when well, you're going to get a real job?" And there is a stigma attached to working in the arts, which is that it's a bit of a hobby, or that it's not like a real job. Right. And it is. It absolutely 100%, is. Hundred percent. Yeah. But before I did it, mate, I've worked every single day. I turned thirteen on my thirteenth birthday. I did a paper round. Then okay. I went and worked at a garden centre. Then I was a chef. I'm saying I was a chef Is while it? I'm in Marco Pierre's. Yeah. Would you have given him a bit of a run for his money or what? I was f***ing awful. Mate, he made Ramsey cry. I just saw a poster in there the hallway. There was a poster by the toilet yeah. that says, he made Gordon Ramsay cry. The guy cry. that made Ramsey cry. But I was, I was a chef and I was terrible. Did you ever cry? Um, I, I don't, I'm, that's all I'm interested in now. Did I ever cry? Did you, as a chef, did someone make you cry? Did someone ever shout at you enough to make you cry? I don't think so. Shame. I, did, I didn't care about it enough. Sh- oh. I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh. Go on. But I was awful at it as well. I was awful at it. And it wasn't like a proper restaurant. It was stick things in the microwave restaurant. Ah. Uh, Still like f- Cut that out. Uh, yeah. Peep that out. <laughs> it just, I just wasn't very good at it. But I, I'd, I'd been a chef. I'd, I'd done a million different things before I landed on. And I knew it, all of it was to subsidize being right, an actor. Okay. All of it was to pay for being a musician Train, or, yeah, or yeah. whatever. So the idea that you do all that and get to a certain point and then you've got to you start again. The I thing is, so. right, I'm going to, this is my only bit of seriousness. The thing that annoys me the most about it is that I have friends who sing in pubs. Okay, that, that's, that, that's kind of their gig. Wednesday, they earn 80 quid. Thursday, they earn 80 quid. Friday they earn 120, Saturday they earn 150, Sunday they earn 120. There's a, a normal wage in that. So how can you how can you say that that is not a real job? The fact that you're close, you know, you're not allowing singing co- for correct reasons in a pub or a, a venue right now. That's not their fault. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. And, and they earn a real wage through doing think, it. And I think if you're going to say to somebody, okay, you can't go to work, any other person who's in full-time employment is going to get help, but you can't well, do it, it as a... it seems like they subsidise the companies yeah. to help subsidise the employees, but they don't subsidise the self-employed. No. That's where it feels it's gone. And that's why and I'm gone, angry. I know we've gone a bit serious. So I'm angry about Fatima. But if you <laughs> had to pick a job, if you... Just to lighten it up. Um, yeah. I would pro... Uh, well, what would I be good at? Maybe maybe, chef. I quite like the idea of being a chef. Long I, hours, like, but... I think it's still creative because you are putting something together from scratch, aren't yeah. you? And it, presenting it in a way to... I think you could be a chef. Yeah, I think You're so angry too. enough. Yeah. You're little right. enough. Yeah. <laughs> You're old oh. enough. <laughs> Three incorrect points there. <laughs> Are you f- jackass? <laughs> um, a chef, maybe. What yeah. about you? Lorry driver. Brilliant. Yeah. Straight in. Knew it. <laughs> straight in. No thinking about it. Straight in. I just think I. Maybe like for like Amazon. That kind no, of thing? no, no, no. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa. No, I. I think I don't know. Driving instructor. Uh, I'd lose my cool with you. If, Butcher? If you, were, <laughs> if you were teaching me how to drive, I, I want to drive could, off a cliff. I could be a butcher. <laughs> Is that because you never really knew how to spell the word butcher? I'm just saying, uh, you know. I liked it when the guy came in. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to put this in, but if you didn't put it in, <laughs> and he tried to tell you how to put the password in for the Wi-Fi, which you can't obviously put in for security reasons, and you were like... It's just not working, mate. And he's like, I'm spelling it out for you. <laughs> P 
<laughs> A. <laughs> S. Yeah. I think, I think, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> butcher or, dr- or driver. I think anything that, I like driving, clears my head a little bit. Okay. I quite like that, that idea. But I don't want to. And I won't. I, w- I won't do anything else. Okay, fair I enough. I won't. I'd rather... Make a podcast. Make a podcast with you. Try and get a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I, have no yeah. f- I have no food, but I have a lot of gin. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Signet gin. Signet gin. <laughs> <laughs> Product placement. No, I, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to know. It's hard to know what you do because you're not interested in doing anything but what we do for a living. Exactly. Yeah. Going back to England versus Wales. Yeah. Very fast internet speeds. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've yeah. heard they're pretty slow in Wales. <clears throat> it's, not, it's not the best. <laughs> what it's do you get in your house? Uh, 54. <laughs> I get 54. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Suck it, Gil. <laughs> I thought Try I'd bring, bring, it on, out. bring it on to internet because obviously we've got the internet here today, which is why yeah. we're able to do this. Yeah, and like we do have the internet in Wales, Tom. You know, it's like, oh my God, I've just discovered the internet works in Wales. Do you know what I don't like about the internet? What? YouTube. Yeah. Why do they keep asking me if I want to sign up to pay for YouTube? Why would I want to pay for YouTube? Well, because you get different content, mate. You don't get different content. They you just do. take the adverts off. And it gets to carry on playing when you lock your phone. That's it. Oh, well, don't pay for the internet. Uh, don't pay for YouTube then. So you don't have to. Yeah. There's things oh, I'll pay for. You're so angry. There's things I'll pay you for. You are such an angry old man. So I'll tell you who is angry. Go on. My neighbours. Marco. Oh. No, my neighbours. <laughs> so, because right. it's been locked down and because we've had lots of time at home, me, like lots of other people, have decided to make home improvements. Oh. Mm-hmm. And I've stuck um, Amazon Alexas all around my house. Everywhere. Every room. Oh, yeah, yeah. You showed when me you that. When you arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like... Three hours early for the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Polite. You arrived early <laughs> and then you got angry I because did. I wasn't ready at the time you were Mate, on. When I is this going to be ready? I am an Why angry young when is it man. Be ready? I am an angry young man. You will get to know that about me. Lots of things cheese me off very quickly. Okay. So I've got Alexis in every room in my house. Oh, can I just tell the lovely people at home, I know you have Alexis in your house because you thought it was brilliantly clever to tell me. What's this? What's this? Alexa, switch the lights on in the kitchen. The lights came on. Very clever. It's good. It's like, how much do you spend on that, mate? Too much? <laughs> I, didn't spend it. I didn't spend too much on it. I mean, too much? Too much for somebody who doesn't have a job. Yeah, who could walk into the kitchen. I was like, when do you need the lights in the kitchen? Well, when I go into the kitchen. <laughs> right? Yeah, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Go I on. get into bed. Convince, okay, convince me. I'm, I'm, I'm in curries You're right not. Now, right? You're not in curries. You're I'm never in curries. I've never, no, I'm never in curries. But say I'm in curries. Yeah. We're not in Marcus right now. We're in curries. Or Dick, Dixon's doesn't exist anymore, does it? Sell it to you. Okay. Sell. Sell me Alex. Tell me why Alex is good for my soul. Okay. You just walked in. Yeah. I'm the. Um, You've already convinced me Fatima's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell me why Alex is for me. All right. So you walk in the. Sh- you walk in the store. Correct. Hello, sir. I'd like to buy Alexa, please. But I'm undecided. <laughs> I was going to say that was the easiest. <laughs> yeah, damn it. Selling. Wait, let me walk back. Good evening, well, I'm sir. I'm walking out. <laughs> walk back out. Let me walk back in. Hmm, I'm very undecided about whether I should buy Alexa or not. Convince me, old man. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got Alexa. To- oh, I've got Alexa. <laughs> oh, I've got Alexa. <laughs> old gags there. Old gags if you're a, if you're a patron. So, um... Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> splash of my eye. <laughs> Don't put that in. Oh, a very wise decision, sir. Yeah, go on. I can, I, can, I can help you by telling you all the benefits that having an Alexa will have in your house. Oh, why, don't, don't, just speak to me normally. Do you like music? I d- yeah, I do like music. You look like you're in a band. What band is it? Oh, a band called Who's Molly? Who's Molly? Have they yeah. had any sex success? <laughs> They've had lots of sex <laughs> Um Go on, convince me why. Would you like to listen to your latest single piped through to every room of your house in I'm glorious in. high I'm definition? I'm in. I'm take my card. Yeah. Take my money now. Would you? I sold it. That's all it. Yeah, that's all it, it yeah. took was to tell me that I could play my own music in every room in my house. In HD. Just like HD events that sponsor this show. Thanks, guys. Thank you, HD events. Um, so, Alexa. No, really, why, why is it great? Um, I think it's that thing of... Living in the future. 
Okay. Do you remember when you were younger and you used to go, oh my God, you'll never be able to watch a movie on your mobile. Now you can. Um, oh, wow, that guy's talking to his watch um, on Star Trek or whatever. Now you can. Star Trek. And Such I walk in my house nerd. and I'm like, Alexa, turn on the lights. And she goes, okay, Tom. And she turns them on. Is it like Siri where you can... Um, change what they call you? Yeah. Yeah. What have you called yourself? I had to change it because um, she was calling... She call- couldn't pronounce the word Tom. <laughs> she was calling me. And I don't, Tim. Know, I don't know if I'll Thank leave you, this Tim. in. I don't know if I'll leave this in. If not, I'll bleep what I'm about to say. But she, she used to call me Grandmaster Ramrod. <laughs> Can't leave I didn't. Jeez. It's neat. Yeah, oh, my God. So I'd come in and I'd go, Alexa, turn on the lights. And she'd go, absolutely, Grandmaster Ramrod. Ding. Brilliant. Lights came on. So I had a little bit, as much as I've just tried to sell it to you. Yeah. I had a little bit of a problem this morning. Go on. With Alexa. So alarm goes off at 5 a.m. Because uh, <laughs> Swansea's not very close to my house. And... Um, <laughs> The first thing I do in the morning is yeah. I'll, I've got a little Alexa by the side of my bed with a little screen on it. Of course yeah. you have, yeah. little screen on it. Shows me the news briefing. And I was like, um, Alexa, start my day. And what that means is she turns on the lights in the bum, house. Bum, 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 bum. Build me a buttercup, please. Um, I'm going to tell you what plays. Okay. So what she does is she, um, and this is the God's honest truth, and this is how I start every single day. Uh, the song changes from time to time, yeah. but she'll... They're all cover versions of stuff you've done, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's just my album. I've had a payphone. <laughs> oh, um, my God. So she, she plays with the BBC News Briefing. It's about a minute. She tells me yeah. the weather. Um, she tells me a, a joke oh or something, and then she plays... She tells you a joke? Yeah, yeah. I just, it, I just, it, it used to fart at me oh. a bit. That was, that was quite funny. And then she plays... Um, the uh, Jamie Foxx and Kanye West song. She took my money. And I sort of step out of bed. When I'm in need. And I sort of dance around. You remind me of Kanye. Yeah? Yeah, because you always interrupt me. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. Always. So anyway, Go on. the longest convoluted story that is nothing to do with England versus <laughs> Wales. Nothing to do with any of the sponsors. Yeah. That Maybe I've got you on. bought it in Curry's in England. I did. There it is. Tied Didn't. it in. You're welcome. I got, I got it off Amazon. You are. W- yeah, ruined that. Cool. Um, so this morning I did that. It's 5 a.m. And I went, Alexa, start my day. Or Alexa, turn on the lights. And I, in turning on the lights, it tripped the power oh. to the whole building. The whole building. I see. Ah, oh, mate. I'd go mental. Na- yeah, Neighbours weren't happy. They were not happy. I mean, I live in a house, like, but. They, I, I mean, to I'd be, to be honest, they. Um, they haven't liked me since I decided to do a, <laughs> fit, a 55 <laughs> minute live gig from my house every, <laughs> every single week, week for five lockdown. months. Yeah. When everyone's like shutting down for a little bit, I have a bit of time off now, I'll reset. And I'm stood upstairs going, let me <laughs> entertain you. Ooh, ooh, I tell you what, it's been a while. <laughs> gonna, I've got, I don't know if it's going to happen, but if it does, it will be absolutely amazing. Um, but a friend of mine got in touch and they, um, they know Johnny Vegas. Brilliant. So, so he wants to come on he, and find out if, is that, if your take of Johnny Vegas no, no, no. sounds anything like the real phone call. So what I've suggested as an option yes. for a feature for the show is we get Johnny Vegas on, blindfold you. Oh, and I have to... And you have to guess if it's Johnny Vegas or me or doing an impression. Tommy Vegas. <laughs> Nailed it. That's it. That's it. Bam. So yeah. So, um, essentially, yeah, neighbours don't like me. Alexa's still pretty cool. Alexa's Alexa cool. still cool with me. Oh, you could, you could <laughs> drop in. <laughs> <laughs> neighbours hate me, but Alexa's cool with me. She has to be a <laughs> made her. You can drop in on any room, any room in the house. It's really cool. you just got Alexa drop Mate, in on you all. you live on your own. Is yeah. that why? Ah, oh, it makes sense now. Got to have a friend, did not it? Yeah, just like. I, I, but they live alone, <laughs> so I need a friend in Alexa. <laughs> You make me sound like this really short, painfully old Benjamin Button oh. character who just sits there and goes, I live alone. Oh, Alexa, I can you validate me? I live alone in England on my own and everyone around me is old and upstairs and downstairs. They bloody hate me, they do. But Alexa's my friend. There you go. Talking go about, on, talking about <laughs> people off. Go on. Just really quick, because I wanted to tell you about this in the week. It's something I remembered. I was uh, getting rid of it. Like I'd got some old phones and I was sending them all off to be recycled and you know you clear an old phone 
What that really means is I'm sending them off to get some cash back for <laughs> yeah, them. <laughs> off to Mizuma. <laughs> yeah, to be recycled. Off to Mizuma. Okay, go on, yeah. Time's right. And um, I was going through them all. And have you ever found a phone that you haven't used for many, many years? Uh Weirdly, no, but I have a different reason. I give my phones <laughs> to people when I'm done with them. Of course you so, do. Yeah. Charitable. Um, so I'm going through it, and it's a bit like going through like an old drawer. You ever okay. been to an old drawer? You go, I'm going to tidy that up. You open the drawer, and you go, and then you sit down, and you find pictures and stuff, right. and you end up not doing anything, just reminiscing on it. I was going through this old phone, and I was going through some old messages and some old pictures. I was like, oh, wow, I remember that. Wasn't I it great? I remember when I text Alexa, and she <laughs> spoke back to me on my phone. Right. Alexa is not my girlfriend, okay? This is not going to be a recurring gag. There's no yes, recurring is, gag you where I have some sort take of... Take that Captain where, Tom t-shirt off. Where <laughs> Alex is going on. Where I have some sort of weird... Relationship with Alexa. Technological, sexual yeah. relationship yeah. with my... No one said anything about it being sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> oh, uh, she's very nice. And <laughs> We do that voice quite similar. Yeah. Because <laughs> it sounds like you. Yeah, all right. You mean okay. your real voice and my impression. We so, do sound quite similar. <laughs> so I'm going through my going through these old phones. <laughs> Stop it, you bell end. <laughs> going through my old phones. And um I found a text message thread from it's it's ten years old this thread is, and I don't know if it had been imported from an old phone to a new phone. Okay. The phone wasn't that old, but the messages were, I don't know, eight, nine years old. And it was around the time that I'd auditioned to be in the band I'm in now. Right. And I went down and I auditioned and they didn't say anything to me on the day. And then I went back again and auditioned for it and they told me I'd got it. Okay. And at the time I didn't drive. So I'm on the train on the way back and I've got this phone that I'm going through now, yeah. 10 years on. I've got this phone and I text my brother and verbatim, this is the content of the text message. Bear in mind, this is 10 years ago, so... I'm 24, 25. Right. <laughs> and I went... 29. 25. <laughs> I went, all right, needle dick. Brilliant. Fancy, fancy sinking a couple of pints down the boozer. Um, don't say no. You're f***ing bellend. Or something like that. Lovely. Sent it to the manager of the band I just auditioned for. Not my brother. Brilliant. Opened with all right, needle dick to the manager. And he replied... Didn't reply. I'm in. Didn't reply. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I sign Done. up? Done. Didn't reply. So I got home. I spoke to, um, I spoke to my mum. I was like, she, how did it went? How did it go? I was like, really good. They offered me the job. But I think I've ruined it. She what do you mean? It's off of my brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I've ruined it. Because they offered me the job. And then I called the manager, a needle dick. And um, I, think I, might have, I think I might have ruined it. Anyway, I didn't know, but he'd gone on holiday. Right. Didn't get back for four or five days. Then he got a service, texted me back, and he was like, this isn't for me, is it? And I was like, of course it is. Yeah, obviously it is. <laughs> Die with the lie. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just went back and I saw that message and I remember I thought, I've, it's the worst thing. Have you ever texted anybody that you shouldn't have texted? I have, but I think we should or, save that for another... You know I think that, yeah, there's, that little bit of a teaser for next yeah, week's episode. Yeah, I think episode. There's, there's room in that because there's some, there's some stories that like... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, that's been episode five from episode five. Marco Pierre's. Yeah. Thank you so much. We've got to also say a big thank you to the patrons. I know we oh, haven't 100%. mentioned you this week, um, and we are going to give away some T-shirts yeah, for the reviews. We'll do that next week. Yeah, and talk about, we've got a great mug story. <laughs> a fantastic mug story. <laughs> You, you, yeah, episode you, six yeah you Bugs. don't want to miss that thank yeah. you to the patrons you make the show possible thank you if so you much if you are not a patron the link is at the bottom of the screen now you can become a patron you get loads of stuff and you get all the episodes first it yeah. really does help making the podcast uh, much much easier thank, thank you, you to HD events that's right if you've yeah. got an event you want it in HD they tailor make <laughs> packages for you yes. and they've got emergency they care. emergency cover yeah yeah, brilliant yeah, events company. Well. Thank you to Cherry Drop Gin from the what? Signet Gin. Signet Thank you Gin. to them. Thank you to Marcos. Thank good you. Goodbye. Oh, oh no, sh. Ah. So good, man. Thank, thank you, you to Marcos. Man. And thank you very much to Vinyl Instinct. This has been the Awkward Turkey episode five. Uh, very, Someone's very going to win this. Uh, Someone's going to win this. Very gentle mic drop. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.